Thank you so much, Ewan. Well, from an inspiring workout to an inspiration of another kind, our next guest is an absolute inspiration. Climate activist Catherine Constanides and executive director of Miss Earth, who has been recognized for her incredible contribution to society and, of course, selected as a Mandela Washington Fellow for the Yali program. Now, she'll be traveling to the United States of America along with 25 other fellows from across Africa to go through a leadership program, as well as participate in a presidential summit with the President Barack Obama in Washington, D.C. Catherine, so good to see you here. Thank oh, you. Thank it's you so wonderful much. to have you here. Like, people describe you as our woman warrior. <laughs> you are just so amazing. Tell us more about being a Mandela uh, Washington Fellow that you uh, and the program that you're going to be attending. I'm really excited and honored to have been chosen for such a prestigious program. I think that, you know, as, as the next two weeks go by and it really gets real and I'm about to get onto that plane to head to the US, it'll become a, a, a bigger reality. Yeah. I'll get to spend six weeks at a university in Virginia. Yeah. I'll be going to presidential precinct in Virginia and then head back to Washington DC and um, I'm looking forward to that presidential summit as well. But I think the exciting thing is to actually learn and grow from an experience where I can bring back that knowledge back home to South Africa and implement it in the work that I do, the people that I get to engage, and I get to meet young, unbelievable African leaders mm -hmm. from across our continent who are doing amazing things too. That's amazing. The Presidential Summit, what are some of the things that you're going to be tackling? Uh, what do you think you're going to be getting out of the program? I think a lot of the issues will be to actually look at what are the challenges that we have as not only South Africans, but as Africans. I think this specific platform really addresses the fact that how do you empower African leaders to take on the African challenges for themselves? And for me, that's a critical thing. It's critically important that young Africans stand up to the plate and become the solutions that we need yeah. in order to solve the many challenges that we see across our continent. But it's also important to be um, part of how do we make sure that those challenges turn into opportunities? Yeah. Now, you are an environmental activist. You're very, very passionate about what you do. Looking at 2016 beyond just the presidential summit, what else are you hoping to achieve this year? I think 2016 is a big year for me. I really hope to make sure that author is added to my CV. I have oh, wow. a series <laughs> of children's books that I'm working on at the moment. And... Um, really wanting to combine my work as a climate activist, as a former Miss Earth, and the inspiration around the children that I've met across the continent. So that's a, a really passion project that I have to see come to life this year. Yeah. And um, over and above that, we're launching the Miss Earth Africa program. And this is really to engage young African women across the continent to connect with each other and be able to share experiences and opportunities in order to move our continent forward from a networking platform of young, powerful women. That is amazing. Like, literally, your passion is so, like, palpable. You can literally you. feel it. It's so, so <laughs> inspirational. One more thing. Can I go back to the presidential summit? Will sure. you be meeting... President Barack Obama, and if you do, what's the first thing you're going to say to him? Indeed, I will be meeting him. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and I'm quite excited to spend the three days as part of the presidential um, summit in Washington with President Obama. I think that with the opportunity to speak to him, I would really address the issues around climate justice in Africa. How do we ensure that there is important relationship building yeah. between the US and the African continent yeah. to, to look at the programs and sort of exhilarating the programs that do exist on renewable energy, on food security yeah. and agriculture. And looking at how do we make sure that the partnership between um, the continent and the US is one that is strong and moves forward, not only looking at climate, you know, the climate reality that we um, that we are exposed to and yeah. experiencing, but how do we ensure that climate justice is something that becomes a behavioral change? Yeah. Oh, Catherine, so wonderful to have you on our Feel Good Breakfast show. Thank you. Thank you for flying the flag <laughs> high, and we are Thank supporting you. you 100%. Thank you so much. Awesome Thank you. stuff. Catherine, going to be one of um, some other Africans that are going to be at the presidential summit. Graham, over to you.